guys, it's Jason Cree on this Align Care Life. You guys ever get tired of the scammers texting you about lawn care service? Do you provide lawn care service and all this stuff? Well, I started messing with one. I'm just gonna see if they'll keep talking to me. I'm gonna keep messing with it. I'll catch up on the conversation so far. So it's the same old messages. I imagine many of you get them. And let's see what how they start. Hello. Are you available for a lawn care service? Have you got those before? Text message from some random phone number? I said, okay. Usually I just totally ignore. I said, this time I'm gonna mess with this guy. Sure, leave the cash under the door, please, was my re response. He says, I have a lot of properties to work on. Let me have the zip codes you're covering so I can send you the nearest location to you. Thank you. I said, I need to cash under the map before I give you any information. And I text him back. I said, is the cash under the map? He texts me capital letters. Yes. I said, that's great news. Thank you. Then I say, give me the address where the cash is. And once I pick it up, then we can move forward. Then I said, please add a hundred dollars for giving an estimate plus the price of the work. Now this is not how I normally do business just by the way. I was just messing with this guy. He says, Kindly provide me your name and any valid ID, driver's license particularly, to know who is working with us and you'll also be receiving a weekly bonus. <laughs> I said, you don't need my name to leave cash under the doormat. If you're not gonna leave cash and tell me where it is, then we're finished. I said, sorry, but that's how business goes around here. He says, capital letters, send front and back of your driver's license. I put on there, I ended, I said, I'm done with you. I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but you do not need a driver's license to leave cash under a doormat. Go find a lesser lawn care provider to work with. The best of the best is done with you. And he hadn't replied. I was kind of hoping he would, or we could keep it going a little bit longer just for the video's sake. But um, anyway, I just thought, Sometimes these people mess with you like that and they scammers call you. I get them all the time, I get them email. Of course, you don't want to give anybody your name or I don't want to give them anything, to be honest with you. Address, zip code, certainly not. Hey, can you pay me through PayPal? I'm out of town, all that same old stuff. I get so tired of these people. I need to get a job. So um, just wanted to let you know how I handle that. Hopefully, sometimes you can have fun maybe. Um, with the telemarketers too. I mean, I understand people need a job and they're calling, that's, they're selling somebody, you know, and they just are relentless and call you day after day after day after day. Uh, and then sometimes have a little fun with them. But uh, I will say this, I am um, going to the GIE Expo this year. Uh, the registration, the early bird res registration is a few more weeks. I'll put a link in the description if you want half off your ticket. They give us an affiliate link, and if you click on that link, you get half off. So early bird tickets, 20 bucks. Um, so you use my code, it's 10 bucks. Um, but anyway, I'm uh, just enduring the dog days of summer and wanted to touch base with you guys about what's going on here. Let me know how you handle the scammers. You get these text messages, emails, things like that. And uh, what do you do to handle them? Leave it in the comments. Talk to you later, bye.